Well, good morning. Howdy, everyone. Welcome to the show. Got a, uh, let me show you some engine parts. They, uh, I told you about number 22 locomotive that's behind me, 22. It's an SD38-2. I told you in an early, way earlier video that, uh, had six bad pistons in it. And, uh, they were going to have to change the engine. Well, they had an engine stored up at Emerald Mine at her sister mine, and nobody really knew anything about it. So, uh, <laughs> had some problems. I'll be right back. Well, all right, sorry about that. Somebody came in, I had to leave. Uh, so, wanted to tell you the story. I told you uh, in a prior video that uh, this locomotive was going to have to get an engine changed. Had, uh, and the engine that we they had was stored over at our sister mine, Emerald. Now, nobody seems to really have much recollection. Recollection. Uh, sorry about that, it's early in the morning. Nobody seems to have much knowledge on why that engine was over there. Or had it been remanufactured or rebuilt or what. And uh, last weekend our contract locomotive mechanics went over to Emerald and uh, to take a look at it, they found out that sadly, it had not been stored properly, not have been sealed up, and they found the engine was full of rodents. Duh. Also, the engine did not have a flywheel on it. Um, they also tried to find some people that uh, they could get to help and machinery and everything to get that engine changed and it would be, this is November 12th, and they found, figured out it would be around the end of January before they could even get the engine changed. So the plans changed as things always change on the railroad quite frequently. And you guys that work railroad, understand what I'm meaning. Sometimes things change minute by minute. <laughs> but that's railroad. <laughs> okay. So, they came in here yesterday, they changed camshaft up on uh, this bank of the engine. Uh, they changed the camshaft in the past on our 3098 locomotive. And I'll sh uh, I haven't found the camshaft yet here this morning. But they did did change a couple heads on the locomotive. And I'll show you more parts here in just a bit than what's here. Say, uh, see that gunky stuff in there? Down around the bottom of the ring down here. That stuff is coming up. Uh, stuff is really greasy. I'm going to show you one of these here where, where the end is all boogered up. I'll show you that just in few, just a minute. But those are wearing out. Uh, these, that hole there, that hole there, one of them's round, one of them's oblong. Big problem. Same deal on the other head. Here. Okay, so these these two got changed out. Uh, the camshaft got changed out, and uh, I was out on rail all day yesterday. We had some had to change rail in the rain. Rained all day. Changed three rails. We had some Sperry rails that had to get done. A Sperry rail is a rail that an ultrasonic rail testing company finds to have an internal defect in it. Whether Nordco or Ultra Tracks or Herzog or Sperry comes in, uh, if they find a rail has got a defect, we just call it a Sperry rail. So I got all my Sperry rails changed yesterday, and that was good to happen, but I wasn't in here hardly at all except at the very end of the shift. So I didn't get to talk to a lot of these guys a whole lot, wasn't around them a whole lot. See that stuff down in there better now. Shavings and stuff. 
Okay, I got more parts to show you. Anyway, I was leaving last night and they got number 22 started up, which I'll show. I wasn't, I was walking to my truck and I heard the engine crank over. So I got in my truck and I'll show you the, show it to you here running in a little bit, but not of them actually starting. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Well, look at what we got here. Got some parts. Show you a couple of the reasons why they changed those heads. I don't know exactly what that part is called. The technical, the right correct name for it. But got a good bit of wear on that. And uh, look at this. There's uh, two of them that had that same amount of wear on it. And I think you can see, maybe that's a better view, the amount of wear on that. Now I know we've got several diesel locomotive mechanics here, so maybe you can write in and tell me exactly what these parts are called. When I was making the, uh, when I came in last night off of the uh, track and was in the shop, they, uh, <laughs> they had the radio playing, the shop radio playing pretty loud, and uh, they were playing Led Zeppelin on there, and I knew I couldn't, uh, couldn't make any videos in there or YouTube would have flagged me for a copyright violation on that. So I have to make do. I do did do have a picture of the camshaft out of our SD40-2 that they had replaced it before. So I'll show you a picture of that camshaft here out of that one. No, wait a minute. Sorry. I do have a picture of the camshaft out of the one they replaced yesterday. I'll show you that one. It was on the deck of the uh, front porch of the locomotive. So, forgot I had that in there. So I'll show you that picture of that camshaft right here. I can't show you the, how the lobes, there was a couple of those lobes that had a lot of wear on them. So here's the picture of the camshaft. Okay, this is a uh, this is a rocker assembly. And I believe without the roller in it and without this, it's called a rocker but this is a rocker assembly. And uh, we'll, we'll look at this, show you why they changed this. Quite a considerable amount of wear on that. Wouldn't be long for, I think that would, uh, that would have fallen apart. So it's a good thing they got that changed. Anyway, 22 is low running now. Uh, they did give me these parts. Uh, I said I looked for the camshaft and uh, it was no longer, they must have taken it with them when they left last night. So uh, there you have it. I'm, I'm not sure if that is normal or not. I'm, I'm not mechanic enough to tell you that uh, copper color in there. So again, maybe some of you guys will write in and tell me that. Now, here's an assumption on my part is this groove in here. 
the groove in there, and I think this is a good assumption, is for lubrication. Okay, That's stuff you get to see very often. Very good. All right. I'm on my way home. They just got her started up. So we'll be back in business tomorrow hauling some ballast. Sounds good. I'm sitting here in my pickup truck. Just ready to, it says, just ready to leave. Just get in my truck and I heard him cranking it over. So. All right. It's been a hard day.